Well, for some parts of the area, things are finally starting to wind down as we take a look at the radar. Most of the activity that rolled through northern sections of the region has pressed well off to eastern sections of North Dakota. Uh, maybe just a stray sprinkle around. Uh, you can see there up around Route 2 up in Minot. Still have that tornado watch in effect for a small sliver of Logan County. I would expect the Storm Prediction Center to maybe scale that back or get rid of it altogether here as it looks like most of the instability in the atmosphere has ended for the evening, thank goodness, and it should be a quiet night overall. In terms of rainfall, especially in northern sections of the region, we saw quite a bit of rainfall as we zoom in here. You can see some of those accumulation numbers just southwest of my, or southeast of Minot, 3.4 inches north of Rugby, 2.7 inches, and in other spots northwest of Minot near Kenmar, 2.1 inches and that cell that moved through Logan County earlier this evening that uh, was we had some golf ball size hail and 60 mile an hour wind gust with that cell uh, dropping an inch just a little bit of an inch as it rolled through Logan County and into eastern sections of the area. Elsewhere you may be saying what rain like in Bismarck where I don't think we saw a drop 67 degrees north winds at 8 humidity 87 percent in Minot, quite a bit cooler, 54 degrees, dew point of 52 degrees, north winds at 9 miles an hour. In Williston, 51 degrees is your dew point, humidity of 84 percent, nice temperature at 56 degrees. And in Dickinson, 59 degrees with a west-northwest wind at 8 miles an hour. Temperatures right now are pretty seasonable for this time of the year. You can see 59 in Dickinson, still quite warm in Bismarck, 67 degrees, 54, your cool spot. Uh, one of the cool spots, Minot, look at Medora over there to the west, 52 degrees. So what can we expect over the next 24 to 36 hours? Well, the main thing is most of the showers and storms will come to an end. As I said, just a sprinkle or two up a little near Minot. Um, we'll see some clearing to the south. I think some of those uh, clouds will hang on uh, to portions further to the north. And unfortunately, your Monday is going to start cool and rainy, kind of a stereotypical Monday, which we'll get to here in a second. Uh, putting precision cast into motion, you can see a lot of those storms have pushed off to the east already so that when you wake up for your Monday morning, just a couple of stray sprinkles uh, west of Dickinson and to southern areas of the state. But that rain does fill in so that by 3 o'clock Monday afternoon, you can see that corridor between Williston and Dickinson uh, some pretty good showers developing and that will fill in as we go on through the day. You can see uh, some even more appreciable rain around Dickinson and between uh, Williston and those will continue to move through the area so that by Tuesday morning as you're headed off to work or school, I think things will finally be clearing out. Additional rainfall that we can expect. This is through Tuesday at 9 a.m. between Williston and Dickinson, <clears throat> just about an inch to an inch and a half of rain uh, in addition to what we've already seen. Temperatures tonight are going to be nice and uh, seasonable for this time of the year. 48 in Williston. They're going to rebound nicely for your Monday. Um, just a cool spot. Look at Watford City trying to struggling to get into the uh, mid 50s. Your harvest weather looks like this. A, a drizzly day. Uh, morning humidity 95 uh, percent. Afternoon temperatures 60 degrees. And for your seven day again, looks like it's going to be a soggy start to your Monday. Cool and rainy. Can't do anything about it. But I think that if we can get through Monday, the rest of the week looks good, Malik. I don't know. Mondays are hard enough to get through, and you're giving us rain. Yeah, but if we can get through it, the rest of the week looks beautiful. <laughs> Just one of those drizzly, cold Mondays. <laughs> well, I've got hope. Coming up next in sports, Ken's got a fully loaded edition of Plays of the Week.